Hello and welcome to this presentation about the Stretch Body Mind Yoga Teacher Training or how you can stretch your body and your mind in 2014 with me, Victoria Cunningham Downey. So just in case you don't know, Stretch Body Mind is my brainchild and that's me sitting there in some sort of awkward pose. Stretch Body Mind basically combines everything that I've been doing for the last 10, 15 years. It combines yoga, Pilates and bar classes with meditation and personal development sessions, with coaching, with consultancy, and also with professional development training, including the Pilates Matwork instructor training, which I've been running uh, successfully for over three years now, and I love it. Uh, the stretch bar method, which is a CPD training, and stretch and play children's yoga facilitator training, which I first ran in 2007, I think. Wow. Okay. So anyway, today I really want to talk to you about the 200 hour yoga teacher training course. It's the first course that I run of this kind. It's going to be run over six months and I am just I'm so excited about it, I can hardly speak. <laughs> I get all tongue-tied and I sort of forget what I'm saying. So apologies if I'm rambling or if I repeat myself, but I just I, I just wanna get it out there and I just want to let you know very clearly what is on the course. So two of the things that are really important. The first is that you receive a, an internationally recognized qualification as a 200 hour yoga teacher registered yoga teacher that certification comes from the yoga alliance uk an organization that i've worked with for a number of years and i i think they're really good so um, i'm very pleased to be able to offer you this but in addition to the actual qualification the certification you're going to receive an education in personal development that is tailor-made by me for you it's going to combine all those favorite things that I have that I talk about randomly if you've ever been to one of my classes and um, perhaps in between poses or in Shavasana. Uh, it's going to start to look at a whole load of things because to me yoga is not just asana. It's not just the physical poses. It's everything. It's breath. It's meditation. It's mantra. It's how you live your life. It's everything. So that's what you're going to get. You're getting everything. So let me show you a little bit more about the film. There are certain elements that I want to cover during uh, the yoga teacher training. The first part of the curriculum, really the main part, I guess, is the practice and training. This includes asana, the physical postures, pranayama, um, breathing techniques, meditation, mantra, Mantra is uh, when I chant and for those who've been going to yoga classes with me for a long time, you will know that my initial teacher training as a, as a yoga teacher was Kundalini and Kundalini has its own special mantras and we'll be learning some of those as part of this training. Another part of the curriculum uh, is the teaching methodology. So teaching methodology really is more about, not just about doing the poses but about sequencing how do we put poses together how do we help someone who can't do the pose that we've asked them to do so modifications how do we cue someone giving them verbal cues giving them you know uh, physical adjustments as well also demonstrating okay because it is you know it's part of it the there's going to be lots of fun on that you know there's going to be lots of um us teaching each other, which is, I, I'm really looking forward to being a very um, bad pupil. <laughs> so, so you can have fun teaching me how to be a good pupil. Um, in terms of anatomy and physiology, we, we learn, I guess, sort of the musculoskeletal system or basically how the body moves and, and what muscles and what bones we're moving when we do our yoga poses. And at the same time, we're also going to do the sort of Eastern anatomy, if you like. So this is about the energetic body. So we'll talk about things uh, like chakras, um, our prana, which is our life force, um, 
nadis, which which are like energy pathways through the body, and um, meridians for anyone who's ever sort of had acupuncture or anything. Uh, we will talk about things beyond our physical body and begin to delve more into what I guess would be called the subtle or the energetic body. Um, as well as this, in anatomy and physiology, we'll um, possibly be doing some work on Ayurveda. Uh, for those who don't know, Ayurveda is known as the science of life and it is a sister science to yoga. And so it's I, I think it's really important to discuss Ayurveda when you're discussing yoga because they, they, they work very well together. Okay, in terms of yoga philosophy and history, oh, we've got a lot of work. Um, we're going to be doing uh, Patanjali's Eight Limbs of Yoga. Patanjali uh, was by some considered uh, the master of yoga. And for anyone who's seen my tattoos, I, I have a tattoo of Patanjali on my arm. Uh, so to me, to me, I call him the godfather of yoga. So he created these uh, eight limbs and we're going to study those in depth. And they are the yamas, the niyamas, uh, asana, our physical practice, pranayama, pratyahara, dharana, dhyana, and samadhi, or enlightenment, if you like. Uh, so we're going to look at those. In addition to looking at those, we're going to look at uh, certain Indian texts like the Bhagavad Gita and uh, oh, Hatha Yoga Pradipaka, and I probably pronounced that completely incorrectly. Um, we're going to look at some very traditional books um, from the Bihar School of Yoga because they're sort of some of the first texts written um, for yoga when yoga was first developed thousands of years ago, it wasn't written down, it was an oral tradition. And so um, other than Patanjali's stuff, we didn't have an awful lot of written texts. And so we're gonna look at the written texts that we do have. Then we're going to look at ethics and also just that experience of becoming a teacher. Um, I just think it's important because Sometimes you, sometimes I see people um, that, that, oh, it's a yet another, uh, you know, certification and it's, and it's another string to my bow and it's another way for me to show off. And actually yoga is not like that. Yoga is about helping others to, to move forward in their journey in whatever way they wish. And so we're going to, to look at that i have lots of experience of working with different um niches i guess different categories different age groups you know right from babies all the way up um to people in care homes I, i've worked i've worked with everyone so it's interesting to to look at the ethics around um different age groups and, and how you, and how you can adapt yoga to suit uh, and then another major part which is often left out of these 200 hour courses not mine is the business of being a yoga teacher. Again, for those who know me, I have been self-employed as a yoga teacher, Pilates instructor, trainer, and so on since 2006. So, you know, that's, that's eight years of experience of knowing how to uh, create a practice and create a clientele. And I also have experience of knowing how it is to start again, because again, for those who know me, I recently moved from Northern Ireland. It's not that recent now, actually, it's a full year uh, to Glasgow. So in Glasgow, I had to, to reestablish myself because I, I wasn't a known name over here. And it, it's been, you know, it's been interesting. Uh, so yeah, we're going to talk about things like that and, and how we, how we find our niche and how we make our yoga teaching practice something that uh, nourishes us as well as uh, provides financially for us so there's loads of stuff and that's only the set curriculum okay i'll explain what i mean in a moment so what i really want to explain is that this training is going to be residential and the reason for that is when I did my first teacher training, it was a month long residential 
in an ashram and the experience of that was transformative to be honest i i went in a normal human being and i came out a yoga teacher so I want to give us uh, the same or a similar experience. I know that there are a lot of courses out there that uh, you go to yoga class uh, one day a month and you know over the course of a couple of years then you eventually are qualified as a yoga teacher. But to me you don't get that same intensive experience and you don't get the chance to share out with the curriculum. So my idea was that we would go to this residential. Uh, We're going to stay in Ancraigan, which is in Northern Ireland. It's midway between Oma and Cookstown. Basically, it's in the middle of nowhere. It is the nicest place. It has such such a good atmosphere, I think, for meditation, for contemplation, for study. And I think it's because it's, you know, it's, it's handy enough to get to. But when you get into Anne Cregan, you feel like you're in this little bubble and we'll be, I hope that I'll be sort of wrapping my arms around you and keeping you in this yoga bubble for the duration of the course. So every time we meet, whether it is one of the week long residentials, which are at the start and the end of the course, or whether it's one of the weekend residentials in between, we'll be sharing with each other. So it won't just be me talking to you about all the things that I know. Instead, in the evenings, we'll be talking, you'll be talking to me, you'll be teaching me things about things that I've never even heard of. I hope, I'm looking forward to it. So there's lots of different things. I also am training at the moment to become a complementary therapist. So there might even be a reflexology treatment in there for someone, um, or perhaps even a massage. I don't know, can't promise anything, but you never know. So anyway, uh, we're gonna be staying in these gorgeous um, cottages. They're like, uh, they look really old style, traditional cottages, but inside they're, they're sort of all the mod cons in there. The food is delicious. And I hate to say it, but <laughs> they have a little bar. So it won't all be serious all the time. We might even, you know, have the odd glass of wine or, you know, not not every night, please. No, it's not that type of yoga. <laughs> but, you know, we, we are for we are there for teacher training, but it would be nice to um, do some socializing as well. So we'll see what we can do. So that's a little bit about the venue. OK, so these are the dates. As you know, it's a 200 hour yoga course. It's a residential and it's going to take place in just six months. So the first residential five day course is Monday the 27th to Friday the 31st of January. Yeah, not long now. (laughs) Then the following month from Friday the 21st to Sunday the 23rd of February, we have our next weekend. Then Friday 21st to Sunday 23rd of March, we have another weekend. Uh, The April month we're off because it's Easter. I'm very nice that way. And on Friday the 23rd to Sunday the 25th of May we have another weekend. Then in June we come back from Wednesday the 18th right through to Sunday the 22nd of June. The reason for choosing to have the five days over a weekend was because uh, the summer solstice is actually on Saturday the 21st. So I want to end the six month training with a summer solstice celebration. I'm not sure how that looks just yet, but it's going to be fantastic. So what's the cost of this? I bet you're thinking this is amazing. I'm dying to go there, but how much does it cost? Well, the cost of the course is 2,100 pounds. Because this is the first yoga teacher training course that I've done, this is a VIP price. This would be offered once and once only. When I run this course again, the price will be closer to 3,000, if not more than 3,000. And I'm not sure I will run it as a residential again. The actual value of the course though, is over 5,000 pounds. One, you've got the tuition, then you've got accommodation, then you've got the food, then you've got bonuses. And when you add all of those together, it actually comes out at about 
5,410 pounds. It's quite random. But I feel like when I'm going grocery shopping, I'm actually saving money by buying this course. <laughs> so you will, you'll be saving more than you're spending. And I just want to move on to the next slide to show you that you don't have to spend it all at once either. There are installment plans available. So what I really need you to do is pay a non-refundable deposit that secures your place. It's only 185 pounds. And then you follow that up with either two payments of 875 pounds or six payments of 320 pounds. You can pay these by PayPal, by Bax transfer, by check, by cash, by dollars. I really don't mind. Um, and contact me, speak to me because there are concessions available if you're a former Pilates instructor of mine, uh, instructor student that is, okay? So none of my former Pilates teachers come looking to me for discounts. Anyone who's trained with me before, yes, I'll give you a discount, but not someone who's, who's taught me, sorry. <laughs> and uh, there also are other uh, installment plans available if money really is an issue because I don't want it to be an issue. I don't want lack of funds to stop you from changing your life. And can I just remind you that I have been working as a self-employed yoga teacher, Pilates instructor and trainer and so on since 2006. And you know, I'm doing very well for myself. Thank you very much. So there is good money to be made and you can set your own hours and you know, it's something to consider. Because to be honest, the, the cost of the course, the benefits are hugely outweighing the cost. So that's that. And then I have a special bonus for you. As a special thank you to everyone who signs up, I am gifting you the 21 day Stretch Body Mind Bootcamp. It's a 21 day email program, which includes yoga, bar and Pilates moves, as well as meditations and relaxations. It's currently on sale on my website for 63 pounds, which is approximately hundred dollars. And you're going to receive it free just to help you prepare for our first training session. So it's really good for people who've never worked with me before to get an experience of what it's like to work with me. It's also going to be very useful when we're on the course because you can watch those videos again in between classes, in between training weekends and things like that. So that's my special gift to you for signing up. And by the way, the sign up day is today. That's why I'm doing this lovely little presentation. If you've heard this and it's tomorrow, I sound so Irish and it's tomorrow, please contact me because you know I might be able to sneak you in but I can't promise anything um, but this bonus is for today's signups so if you want to contact me I have put my mobile here and this mobile is like gold dust I, I rarely give this mobile number out okay but there you go it's important to me and if you need to speak to me about this course then please give me a call my number is 077 346 50517 and we'll have a chat. Alternatively, you can email me. That's usually the best. Victoria at stretchbodymind.com. And you can check out the website, stretchbodymind.com forward slash mind forward slash yoga teacher training. And that'll give you a whole load more details, including things like um, uh, this, what a sample day will look like and just a whole load more about the curriculum and things like that. So I hope you've had fun. I've had fun chatting to you. Uh, I really miss you and I'd love to see you on the course. So please, please consider it and give me a call. Thanks very much. Bye.